In this demonstration, we will nest plate parts including curved plates, temporary forming templates and corrugations. Once completed and any changes captured, we will generate the NC code ready for fabrication. Previously, we defined the build strategy and assigned parts to the appropriate level and assembly group. Plates will be nested according to their position in the build strategy. Before nesting parts, we will activate the task to manage and track changes. Tracking the creation of individual nests and parts or changes to it will be critical when communicating with downstream PLM and ERP systems, especially once construction begins. We will begin by automatically nesting the 8mm plates within the next block to be built. As profile stock is often more costly than raw plate, we can also nest any flat bar parts in the block that are of the same material, grade and thickness. Before the nesting can proceed, we must select the sizes and quantity of plate stock to use. Alternatively, we can use any remnants that have been left over from previously cut plate. We have optimized the nest settings to suit the capabilities of our machines. Here we see the 8mm parts from our sub-block nested. Included within the output template is a bill of materials showing the parts on the nest and details such as material properties, plate utilization and cut length. The nest itself shows the plate stock boundary. The parts to be cut, piece marks and other plate markings required such as fold lines and etch lines. The larger plates, when modified, were identified as being subject to weld shrinkage in all directions due to the continuous fillet welds around it. When nested, the plate size was increased following the predefined weld shrinkage rules and is identified by the symbol etched on the plate part. We can see a large portion of the plate is not utilized. We will define this offcut part as a remnant to be used later in the build, minimizing material wastage. Plate parts may change once they are nested. When a nest is out of date, the parts that are out of date will be identified and can be updated. Once we are finished nesting, we will generate the cut path and produce NC code for the cutting machines in operation in the shipyard. SSI supports commonly used file types and controllers such as Allen Bradley, Bernie, ESAB and more. We will automatically generate the toolpath for the nest and make any adjustments required. Once created, we will simulate the toolpath for review before exporting to an NC file for cutting. When shell plates or other curved plates such as cambered decks are expanded to create the flat shape to be cut, several fabrication details can be added to the flat pattern. We will mark the structural sections on the surface. On the expansion, we will show roll lines and forming controls. Add 100 millimeters of green material in the forward and aft direction and create the outline for forming templates. Once the flat pattern is created, we can also add a bevel to the edges to ensure there is a full penetration weld between connecting shell plates. The bevel description is marked on the plate. Once nested, we can see the shell plate with all the required production markings. To develop this curved shape which will be rolled or line heated into its final shape, we will make the forming templates out of MDF material because it is inexpensive and recyclable. Once defined as MDF material, the templates can be nested ready for CNC routing. Next, we will nest a corrugated bulkhead that was defined previously. We will nest the bulkhead's flat pattern with etch markings of fold location lines and markings to assist in developing the final shape. Now that the plates and profiles have been cut, it is time to start assembling the panels. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.